Alina Svitolina is enjoying a fairy tale run in her first Grand Slam tournament since giving birth last year and has the extra boost of being taken in as the honorary last French player standing. Alina Svitolina has become the story of Roland Garros and cemented herself as the honorary last French player standing. The former world number three gave birth just eight months ago and returned to competition in April. Now through to the quarterfinal, French fans are claiming her as their own as she is married to ATP star Gail Monfils. Svitolina has been enjoying a fairy tale run at the French Open a tournament she used to arrive at as one of the title favorites. But it's a different story for the Ukrainian this year, who came in as the world number 192 after making her return from pregnancy just two months ago. The 28-year-old has managed to match her best-ever result in Roland Garros, reaching the last eight for the fourth time. She did it by earning her first top 10 win since April 2021. Defeating 9th seed Daria Kasatkina 6, 4, 7, 5, 5, on Sunday. And Svitolina's run has been made extra special by the fact that the Parisian crowd is taking her in as their own after France was left without any singles players in the men's and women's draw after the first week. Last French player standing, the former world number 3 smiled when a reporter said some of the fans saw her as one of their own. Svitolina, who picked up a title in Strasbourg the week before Roland Garros, has been married to French tennis star Monfils for two years and the pair welcomed a daughter in October. I cannot be more thankful for all your support, she told the court Suzanne Langland crowd in an emotional post-match interview on Sunday. Now I can feel what Gail was experiencing for all these years and I'm really thankful for all the French people to support me so much. Later, the Ukrainian pro admitted that she didn't expect to get such a reception but started to feel the love in Strasbourg. I have been with Gail for over five years now. I didn't expect that it would come like this year, she said. Yeah, but in the end, just thankful for the crowd to be there for me. Even though it was some matches I was once set down and coming back to win, they are cheering me on and giving me this push and this hope that I can come back and can win. Svitolina was ranked outside of the world's top 1,000 when she made her comeback in April and is already set to re-enter the top 80 with her run to the quarterfinal. And she is enjoying the freedom of playing the French Open with no expectations. Of course me personally I put kind of pressure for myself because I want to win a slam. This is the ultimate goal for me. But definitely not the pressure from outside, she explained. No one, you know, expects that, you know. I am going to come into Roland Garros and make quarterfinal at the beginning of the tournament. Like I don't think many people would say, yeah, you know, she's gonna do it. That's why I feel like this really helps me. I feel almost like I am 17 again coming on the tour fresh. I am not defending any points. Not here. Not next week. Svitolina will face her toughest test yet in the next round, second seed Arena Sabalenka, who won the most recent Grand Slam in Australia. But the 28-year-old new mum has already exceeded all expectations in her run so far and will be able to count on the crowd support when she meets the world number two on Tuesday.